light. It's like good. It does look dark, I think. A little bit. Oh, there, that's better. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Trying to adjust to the evening light. It's uh, all evening, I guess, 4 p.m. And it's a bit shadowy, but should be all right. You can always turn the light on beside you if you need. Yeah, I think maybe we should put some more light yeah, on. Yeah, I can do that right away. Yeah, I think we will. Today we just have, uh, boy, there's a variety today from trinkets. Uh, there's even a small antique pot. There's linens. There's clocks. There's ashtrays. Ashtrays. Chalkware. There's a lot. Figurines. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff today. Hey, everybody. Butterfly Nurse Thrift. Hello. Welcome here. Better? Yeah, I think that is better. A little bit more uh, light. I'll let, let's see what you think. Is it better? Hey, Dana. How are you? Hi, Dana. Welcome, everybody, in the chat and to the live sale. We are Mama's Treasures, Jason and Rebecca. And uh, we're from Canada, so everything's Canadian shipping. Yes, we're shipping from Saskatchewan, Canada. I um, use Canada Post to do all of my shipping, and we invoice and do payments through PayPal. Hey, Kat, how Hi, Kat. are you? So, yeah, so what else do we want to say? Well, same, same uh, procedures. As prior is uh, pick a tag and out of the bunch and randomly select what we will be putting across the screen today for yep. for auction or for <laughs> yeah I don't have any offer ups today everything's got a set price if there is something that you are afraid you might not get then just type offer in the chat and we can definitely do an offer up we ended up uh, we're adding a frog to the uh, uh, what did flower frog you call it yeah, We've Jason got, found a flower frog. Uh, an old cherry whiskey bottle. I don't know. It's maybe a 60s. Pretty cool container anyway. Mm -hmm. it, this this must be kind of considered a fairy lamp, not? I think it is. I think the base is missing. Unless oh, you just put it on a... You well, put it over the tea light? We, we, we will show you later. Okay. <laughs> um, we're doing free shipping again today for one lucky purchaser. So. Um, you would just get invoiced for the items that you purchased, but your shipping would be free. Some, so uh, whenever some have been able to take good advantage of that. Yeah, 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 that's awesome. So then um when you the the first time that you purchase something, then I'll put your name in for the draw and we will do the draw at the end of the sale and make sure that we don't forget you. I will show you all the names as we put them into the draw. Don't want to forget anybody. Um, and I think we'll just kind of get started here. And at the end, if, um, there's stuff that hasn't sold, we can run through it. If you're interested, um, some people aren't here at the beginning and, uh, it freaks me out how American you look and sound. I'm sure that's a stupid comment, but I've never known any Canadians. Oh, I don't think that's a stupid comment. No. I'm told I sound Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca might sound American. Yeah. But. I have a stronger accent from my childhood, I think. Yeah, we uh, we have a, a Mennonite heritage, so yeah, so I can speak uh, another language, but it's uh, it's a low. It's called the Low German, so it's uh, that accent has probably carried with me. Yeah, but it is Canadian too. Like it well. is Canadian. Yep. Um. Hey, Lynn. How are you? Hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Lynn. I'm glad to see you all popping in. Um, I think that's it. Hey? I think so. We will just get started. Sure. All right. So what do you want to do first? Well, figured we would start with a less expensive item. Okay. So I just put that one to the top. I don't know what it is. It's just a number to me, but. Oh, that's uh, right here. Okay. This little cutie patootie. All right. This is a little plate. Um, it is, uh. It's cupped and it has a little hanger on the back. I have no idea what is written on it. 
Some of the items we found were actually in another language. Yeah. Like we found it that was said made in Japan, correct? Yeah. There's an, uh, a beer stein today that uh, in Irish says made in Japan. So it looks hand painted to me and there's definitely age to it. There is a wire hanger for it to be hung on the wall, but you could just use it as a trinket dish. This is $3 and you can have it by typing in the number 36. That was from the house or no? no? No, this is from a lot that we bought. Oh, okay. Just recently. Okay. All right. Next item is a, oh, into a oh, sheet set. Oh, yeah, right. we here have we have some well. linens. The linens in today's sale are from the estate home that we cleaned out. Um, I'm, we're still finding, finding stuff. We and have still quite a bit of stuff from that house. Yes. And, this, this the um, yes, that's right. Okay. So this is a fitted and I think I have the tag on here. Just stand up. So I can hold that up. These, this is the, oh. this is the sheet or the I fitted think, sheet. What does this say? Oh, it's a Wabasso brand. Um, I'm pretty sure I had a tag on there somewhere of what it measured, but it is either a twin. What's a, that one's fitted? This yeah, one. this is a fitted, a fitted sheet, but they are matching. I don't think the, the, the fitted sheet definitely has some wear to it, but it's not worn through or anything. Did you wash it? It smells good. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. These are all washed. Um, so do you want to check on the bottom of that? I think sure. there's a little post-it note. No. I think it's twin. So these two you have marks on? Or did you? Yeah, I thought I had this one too, but it must have escaped. Um, I believe it's twin. Um, this sheet set is um, $7 and it is number 27. The, this one looks to be in worn more than this one, the fitted sheet. At the end of the day, we are they're all the same. same. Lovers of vintage and like-minded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, that's for sure. That is true. Uh, thanks, Melissa, for putting the uh, conversion from... Uh, Canadian to US. So yeah, we're, we're in Canada. So our dollars are in Canadian. So our American friends do get a little bit of a, um, a spendy break yes. <laughs> by buying an hour dollar. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's right here. Chief Canadian or Canada, Canada tray. Yes. So this is, it's plastic, but it really um, feels like um, malamine to me. It's marked MB. I don't know what that might mean. But on the bottom, it says Indian Chief Canada. So it's an, it, um, a Native American Canadian souvenir piece. I have no idea where it would have been made or bought originally. Thanks, Melissa. But uh, this little tray is $3 and it's number 37. Uh, Calypso Antiques Cat. Oh, Cat wants that. Cat wants that All one. right. Thank you, Cat. I'm going to try and. I'm going to get you in for free shipping too, right away. This is the wooden clock, wooden mantle. Yeah, that's the wooden mantle clock. Janice, hi there. Hey, Janice. Welcome here. Next up, we have this wooden. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thank <laughs> you. Um, wooden mantel clock. I'm not sure if this was a an industrial arts project. The clock works. We did put a battery in there. You pop this piece out and the battery does work. It has wooden legs and it's two pieces of wood you can see glued together. Age, I have no idea. Um, I did when I popped this out. It said the name. I, I think it's the name Tam in there. So I think it's maybe a Tammy that 
built this. I don't know. But uh, we are asking $10 for the wooden um, clock, wooden mantle clock, and it's number 20, and it is a quartz um, timepiece in there. Yes, Melissa, the chief plate did sell. Ker buffering. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it's not a sign of how things are going to be, right? <laughs> All right, I will let you put this on the side, not tell. Sure. Um, ooh, the Redware Elephant. Where did this little guy go? Redware Elephant. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a sneaky peeky of the little Redware oh, Elephant. Oh, okay. He's hiding. He's so cute. He's little. He is little. He's so shiny. His trunk Here's is the up. Redware evidence yeah he's like brown and goldy kind of a glaze bit of a curl to the trunk he even has like a little tail his little tail here very very cute this little guy is five dollars and he's number 13. so what is this called drip lace uh i think so yes Me too, unless I do it when I first joined the line. All right, you want to do this one? The owl napkin holder. This guy yeah, too was okay. also in our Instagram preview. This little cutie. Calypso said number 13. Was it the last one? Number 13. Yes, I think that was the elephant. You want oh good. He's going home with you. Yep, yeah, he's a nice shape. I'll let you show off the little owl. So the owl is made, napkin holder is made in Japan. Thanks, Kat, for that. Buying the little elephant. Mm -hmm. This one's made in Japan. There is crazing. I understand what it's called now, and it's uh, age-wise, not sure, 60s maybe. Yeah, it's Japan. But he's super cute in oh, great condition. It's an owl cat. <laughs> uh, he is eight dollars and it's number nine what's your instagram channel name um it, it's changed now it was a vintage house uh it is mama's treasures yes there is an underscore between in the front of mama's in the middle of it and then after it but it's mama's treasures yep and that was how much eight dollars number nine eight dollars number nine Thanks, Melissa. 651 US. Now we're going way up. Oh, this is a this is a beautiful piece. This is a way Mexican. up in price. This is really, really expensive. <laughs> $12. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, a Mexican pottery uh, trinket dish. This is the like the kind of the roughy sand um finish and i've never seen one with um a dolphin on it i've never seen i've never seen a trinket dish maybe take my price tag out of there hey you've never seen a trinket dish i've never seen a mexican pottery trinket dish no the owl is but, adorable, but I just got a napkin holder from Gina. I must control myself. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is Bara de Don't Navidad. Worry. Don't control yourself. Just let it go. And it has a dolphin on it. <laughs> a dolphin. And the, the painted parts are uh, glossy. But the finish of the pottery itself is that rough. The inside is smooth, and this is the top with the fishy on it. And so for the Mexican pottery trinket dish, it's $12, and it's number one. That's probably our most expensive item here tonight. Yeah, I think, I don't think it went over 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that in. Okay. Right. Next up. Oh, 
Oh, Vintage Diggs is taking number one. <laughs> hey, Gina, how are you? Thanks, Vintage Diggs. I'm going to get you in. Six US, yep, that's right. Going to get you in for free shipping as well. Next up, we have a milk glass planter. Yes. It's a pedestal planter. Um, it's more translucent. This uh, It's probably about six inches. And it is marked. It does have writing in the bottom. Oh, boy. Now, what does this say? Cleveland. Cleveland, USA. Napco. Cleveland, USA. So it's made by Napco. And this uh, pedestal milk glass planter is $5. It's number three. Yeah, bigger the doll needed to come to Florida. No, that's, that's, that's awesome. Good. Oh, Melissa Buffering in the chat, and Jason turns right red. Something's <laughs> I'm oh. not embarrassed or anything. <laughs> I, not yet. Not sure what's going on. Hmm. Hope you get it figured out, Melissa. I do have the light from the window coming on. Maybe that's somehow. Yeah, usually I would be the one who's flushed and red cheeked. I don't feel flushed. I did have my um, COVID vaccine, my first shot. So if I fall over or grow a second head, then you. You're showing the number, honey. Oops. We'll do that one later. Okay. <laughs> now I'll turn right red. Yeah. The night is young. See? There you yeah, go. I can, huh? I can get. Real embarrassed. Small Irish beer stein. Is that the one you're talking about? That is the one, yes. This is very light and kind of cool. There's a small, tiny crack. Is, is that it a crack? Hmm. So yeah, this is a mini beer stein? I, I think so. It's, it's pottery it's, or uh, ceramic. From, it has an Ireland uh, title on there anyway with a... Horse and carriage. Let's see if I can show that to you without the glare of the light. And it looks like an old stove in the back. And this one is written, I believe. Yeah, our son put it online to ask what it would say. And it, it's actually translated from Irish, made in Japan. <laughs> so it was made in Japan, just written in Irish. Um, so for the little Irish beer stein, it's four dollars, and it is number eleven. Hazel, you trust the shot? I trust the shot. I feel fine. <laughs> Looks like nineteen sixties. Yeah, that's probably about right. I'm just I'm surprised how it's not very heavy. But yeah, it's, it's small, I guess. That's another indication of Japan made. Oh, okay, their ceramics are very light. All right, next one. White glass penguin. Oh yeah, this is this is a cutie little art glass penguin. This guy's heavy. So it it, it his wings look like they've been applied. He's so cute. I have no idea who made it, but that's him from the side. And he's got the little indents for his eyes. His beak is a little bit pinched. And the tips of his wings are uh, pinched a little bit. Shots, especially tequila. <laughs> we have some shot glasses here tonight. We do. Wild juice. Wild cat Aged juice. in the woods. Wild cat juice aged in the woods. Yes. And this little guy is $8, and it's number 10 for the white art glass penguin. Next up is two. two. Oh, he's heavy. He is heavy, He's yes. solid. He's not hollow. No, it's made of glass. Yeah. Next up, we have two pottery cups. Well, I have no idea... What, like, are these drinking glasses or what they are? They almost look like that um, 
You mentioned Mexican pottery. They do look like Mexican pottery, but I don't think that they are. They have like little um, feet on them around the base and they're different shaped, but they are hand, I think that's hand painted. Very pretty little cups. They're about four inches tall and probably about four inches wide. For the pair of these, they are... Number 42, $5. Yes. They're in perfect condition. Look like Ot Otagiri. Otagiri. Oh, maybe Otagiri. they are. They're not marked. I'm back. Had to go out and try a different window. Oh, good. Glad it worked for you. They do look like Otagiri. So what is Otagiri? That's just a brand of um, pottery. Okay. I did not know that. Yeah, it's a, a Japan company, I believe. Thanks, Melissa. 407. US. The ceramic dog. Got a little ceramic doggy. Yep. I think it's a Cocker Spaniel. He's um, looking, looking backwards, sitting and looking back. See Very here. cute. Just a little guy. And he is hollow. He's not heavy like that penguin. The penguin was solid glass. This one is hollowed out, probably 60s. I think he's Japan, yeah. Japan. This little guy is $4, number 43. Took my fingers out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Or an F gram. Hmm. Same spec thing as old Gary. This wasn't in the chat when I got the trinket, so I don't didn't know the exchange range. I had to wing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up is two chocolate cherubs. Mm -hmm. Oh, these ones. Black base, oval black base with like uh, the cherubs are um, gold. And they are wall hangings. They do have their um, the hey, wire, wire hangings on the back. And they're probably about six, six, maybe seven inches long. I should get my ruler. Should be more prepared. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the two chalkware cherubs are eight dollars for the pair. They're number forty-five. Hi, Angela. What is? Oh, I'll let you. Want me to? Yeah. Oops, I was supposed to say Afghan hound. Oh, the dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know much about dogs. I'm a cat person. Corkscrew. The corkscrew, yes. I'll let you talk about that while I go get a ruler. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't know a lot about it. It was in the vintage house. This is one of the items I think we found behind the... Uh, Cutlery drawer, and age-wise, I don't know, probably, I looked it up a little bit, I recall, I think it was around the 50s, 60s, just a little, uh, I guess, bottle cap opener as well, and a corkscrew for your wine bottle. It says Nifty on there, and it also says Vaughan, Chicago, is that how you say it, it's Vaughan, V-A-U-G-H-A-M? Yeah, I would think so. And it says in USA, it's small lettering. Oh, it says the patent is in USA. And for that one, we're asking $5, and it's number 51. A little piece of uh, vintage, or like, this might even be almost antique, actually. Yeah, probably. Show the writing on there. Vaughan. That's correct, Melissa. Yes. Yeah. Made 
and patent in the USA. Hey, Judy. How are you? I've got lots of ashtrays here tonight. Yeah, we haven't brought one up yet. No. I'm going to find one. you can find one. <laughs> It's pronounced Vaughn. Vaughn. Hmm. Well, there's my time for embarrassment. <laughs> you can come on here and you'll never know what I'll say because it's like. You're I, a loose cannon. I'm a loose cannon. Brown, round ash. Okay, yeah. This one's fairly large. Yeah, this one. Now that I have my ruler, I'll let you talk about it. Well, I don't know what to really mention about it, but I'll see what I can read on it. Okay. It's handcrafted in Canada. Oh, great. Another name on the back. Asenicus, <laughs> I think is what it says. Not sure if you guys can read it online there. Um, but this is an advertisement piece. It's David Meal, importer and dealer in stoves, tin, sheet iron, and copperware. Yates Street, Victoria. So we, that would probably be BC, right? Be Victoria, do you, BC. Do you really think that's it's like a city a real, in North of Toronto too? Do you really think that's real advertising or just like? I think it is made up. You think so? Well, I just don't know. So yeah, there's uh yeah, it's brown glaze. The, there is a rim of felt on the bottom so that it doesn't scratch the surface. Um, this one. Real Judy Skeletons. Oh, it is real. Okay. It has a bit of felt lining on the bottom glued onto there. Yeah. Protect your counter. So that one might be quite old then. This one would be, yeah, I haven't looked it up. Um, so this one is $10 and it's number 15. I think Melissa said it's around seven ninety six or something like that okay. for US. But oh, I yeah. won't say for sure. Hey Gabrielle. Eight fourteen US dollar changes. Small glass shaker. Yeah, this one. Oh, this. It's like a mini sugar. Yeah, it's so cute. But I was very sad to see that it looks like it has been dropped, like dropped right there. And it it does have a crack in it, but you can't feel it. It's the oddest thing. Uh, it's, it's really weird. You can see that it has dropped, but you can't feel it. I don't know, but it is so cute. It's got the tin lid, and this is the little shaker. It has a little hole in it. This little guy is, oh, let's measure it. Okay. Is uh, three and a half inches and from the bottom $3 to the cap. Number yes. 35. Super cute little yeah. shaker. So you always have that at the restaurant, larger, larger one. Mm-hmm. Chili flakes for that pizza parlor. Oh yeah, the chili flakes in there. Thirty-five, Melissa. Melissa. Like Thank you. Sugar one. You're going in for free shipping too. Next up is a cherry whiskey bottle. No idea on the age, just a really cool bottle. The label's in pretty good shape. Has this diamond, it says 12 ounces on the bottle as well. Kind of that diamond, what do you call it, design? Yeah. The lid is, it's plastic. This was, was this in the garage or the basement of the... A state house. This was in the garage, I think, of the estate house. Oh, okay. It was very dusty. I know that. Yeah. I was trying very hard not to ruin the paper label when I was washing it. 
Um, so for the the whiskey bottle is um, five dollars, number fifty two. Cherry whiskey. Guinness Distillers. It's from Ontario. Mm -hmm. And ounces. Well, I don't know when they would have changed that to millimeters. Yeah, I don't know. McGinnis. That would have been in the 70s, not? McGinnis Cherry Whiskey. I don't know. I could probably look that up to find out an age, too. Well, next up is a flower sifter. Oh, this is so cool. This was also in the estate home. This was in the basement. I remember seeing this one. Um, it's a triple sifter made in Canada. It has three screens. And the... It's red. I can show it. It's red, and the uh, the flowers on it are so nice. It's hardly rusted at all. It's in really good condition, actually. Mm -hmm. It would look great in a in a display. This flower sifter is seven dollars, and it's number twenty five. Is this a wooden handle? It is, I, I think. That's wooden, and this is metal. Yeah, that's wood. So is there's flour was that coarse that they had to sift it or well it's um it makes your baking more fluffy hmm. if you sift your flour. So we don't do that anymore, we don't like fluffy baking. Well, you're supposed to. Oh. I did not know that. <laughs> the resin the resin pig, pig family. family. Yes. These little cuties. There is a mama sow and then the little piglets. They are resin. There's no maker on them. They're super cute. I think they're perfect. That's what they look like from the back. They're little piggy tails. One has lipstick on it. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Actually, both of the babies do. Melissa says she has her mom's just plain aluminum. That's the flower sifter, Melissa. I imagine it wouldn't be aluminum pigs. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. So $5 for the little piggy family, and they are number 53. This is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I haven't used it, but comes in its package with some old recipes. This is a, this is a slicer, but the box itself is so cool. It's from Themester. Is your piece missing? Or... No, it's, it's there. Um, this is what it looks like. Just like that. See? I think there's a piece. But isn't there a piece that should go on the top? That you run it on? And this is the knife. To slice. Well, I think it looks like it's there. I don't I'm know. Trying to, trying to figure out how this thing would work. And there are some more tools that Feimster made. Um, oh, it is. Okay, this has to. I'm trying to figure this out while we're on the. I don't want to cut this. Yeah. Then I'd liter literally be red. There you go. There you go. So this is adjustable, depending on your thickness, how thick you want your potatoes. We should try this out. And you just slice your potato on wow, there. Wow, that looks a little dangerous. Yep, you just have to be careful not to put your hand down all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, comes with a cool box. Yeah, so this is the box. 
No screws to adjust, no blade to insert. And there is some information on here. It's VR from the Beamster. Beamster Company. And there's a patent number on there. Nine. Oh, no, that's not a number. I thought it's a year. Yeah, just the box is so cool. Yep. There's no French on here either, so this is old. And what are we asking for? Um, this is five dollars and number 26. 26. I wonder if it's put the other way just to fit in the box. Probably. <clears throat> The original guillotine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone lost a finger. No, oh, I'm sure. Duck planter. Duck planter right there. Yes, this little planter. Uh, the two ducks look like mallards, a mallard pair. Perfect for spring. Mm -hmm. Put your succulents in there. Oh, good job. Yeah. Made in Japan. This little planter is $5 and it's number 54. Hello, Decor and More. Welcome here. Kristen, Decor and More. No, yeah, okay. Resin, the resin dog. dog figurine. That's that. What's this one? Yes. This little guy is three dollars. He's a resin puppy. He has remnants of a sticker on the bottom of a price tag. I think it is. It looks like an old price tag, so he's probably from the eighties. I'm thinking. Um, I can't really read what it says. His eyes are, his eyes are glossy, but uh, like he's that resin. Um, feel to him like the textured feel three dollars number 40 I don't know what kind of puppy he is either no I don't know either kind of like a lab maybe this is the one you're saying are the shots yes so this eagle maybe oh, maybe oh maybe. maybe this is pretty cool <laughs> this is uh on one side it says wild cat juice aged in the woods and on the other side it says a little brown jug and, and this is the decanter this is uh it's all ceramic it has a cork. It has a little cork um, like in the opening of the decanter. And then it comes with these six tiny, tiny little um, shot glasses that are redware mugs. It is so cute. It's in perfect condition. I cannot find any chips even on all the little handles and... The decanter. This is uh, an enterprise exclusive, made in Japan, hand painted, and then there's a number on the bottom. Yeah, it's redware and it's super cute. So the brown jug and six glasses is ten dollars, and it's number four. Decor more. Are you in Canada? Yes, we are. Thanks, yes. Melissa, for helping us out there. Yeah, so our prices are in Canadian, so um, converted to U.S., there's a little bit of a savings for the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we're shipping from Saskatchewan, Canada. Right. Oh, another ashtray. This one you probably would have seen on our Instagram preview. I love the pink on this. Um, it's white and then um, painted pink with gold uh, highlights. It is made in Japan. 
I will measure it here. This one is $10. Now you can use it as a candy dish. You could. <laughs> it's 10 inches by six inches. It's $10 and it's number six. It's large, that'd be a lot of ash. But I guess if you have four cigarettes there and four cigarettes here. Yeah, well, um, ashtrays can be used for so many things. Mm -hmm. Trinket dishes and candy dishes. And they're so fancy. Candle holders. You never, you can, uh, can you even buy an ashtray now? Well, you're you hard pressed to find it. one. Oh, number six, the pink ashtray going to Melissa. Thank you. I guess I haven't shot for one. <laughs> Next up is a set of salt and pepper shakers. And you call them the jug salt and pepper shakers? Yeah. These are redware as well. They have their plugs in there. And they look to be in my shape. This little set is $5 and it's number seven. They are plastic stoppers. Yeah. Some are, I noticed they're cork. They do not say made in Japan or anything on them, but redware would be or. Yeah, you can see the redware. Um, and Melissa would like those. Thanks, Melissa. Melissa would like those. Thank you. Next is your deer figurine. Oh, here, I'll let you show him off. Thanks, Melissa. 407 for five dollars. 407 US. Next up is a deer figurine. It's it's old. There is a, some writing on the side, but it looks really aged, and it has the crazing on it. Um, there's a little. It looked. I thought it was a, a break, but it's just a bit of a chip on one of the crazing um, lines on the deer. Yeah, and it's really just the paint. Right. And they put. They've stuck, uh, whoever had this prior, put on um, cork stickies on the bottom for display. But this one looks just the style of it. Probably consider it not vintage, but antique. Yeah, it's pretty old. It looks pretty old. Yeah. Um, I'm going to measure it. Okay. It's $10. And it's number 12. It's about five and three quarters long. And five and a quarter high so she's pretty she's a pretty good size i love the way her legs are tucked underneath her body she's really pretty next is a small oh yeah I don't know anything about it. But. This, um, I think some people call them a jewelry casket or it's, it's like a trinket dish with a lid. It is really, it's really small. Let me give it a little measure here. It is two and a half inches long, two inches wide. And with the lid on it, it's not, it's one and three quarter high. And that one's five dollars. Yeah, five dollars, and like the the lid um, stays on. I'm not sure what you would call these, like stoppers or whatever, but it does. Uh, it's really pretty. So a small little trinket box, number fifty-five for five dollars. Your jewelry. Mm hmm. Okay. Next is a glass flower frog. The flower frog. Jason found this. It is, let's see here. It was actually in a thrift store close to where I received my COVID shot. 
See them <laughs> sitting there. I know Rebecca has been asking for those, or if I see one, she said, "Grab it." Yep. So this one is five inches across. How many holes does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 holes in the flower frog. This one is $10 and it's number two. It's in great condition. There's no, no chips on it. I think one we've had prior from the house. Was it the house? I think we put it at the mall. And it's it was my fault. It slipped out of my hand. But it didn't uh, break. It fell on the floor. It didn't fall from very high. It was maybe two feet. Did not break. Oh, Hazel wants that. Thank They're you. Tough. Thanks, Hazel. And I'm going to put you in for free shipping. Next up is a sheet set. Filled or filled. Fitted and flat flannel sheet. Yeah. Is this it? is also from the estate home. Which one is it? Um, the the a striped one. Striped ones. Yeah. So this one is sixty six by eighty. Rebecca has put sticky notes on there. Yeah, and this one is a twin fitted. Look at the awesome colors. This reminds me of that fabric of those um, flower bags. Oh, really? It's, it? it's very soft. It's soft. Or not flower bags, but you said your mom or somebody made tea towels. Yeah, that was from flower sacks. That was from flower sacks. They're, they're kind of soft too, aren't they? Or mm -hmm. Well, absorbent. Absorbent. So, so these um, are very absorbent, absorbent sheets. <laughs> Fitted twin and uh, flat sheet set. Number 28, $7. <laughs> Absorbent twin sheet set. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Next up is. Glass salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. These are old. They are old. I don't know if that's lucite or bakelite on uh, their tops. They're plastic, the tops, but uh, they're like the beehive style. Um, they do come on and off easily. Just really old. Little salt and pepper shakers. For this little set, I'm asking $3 and they're number 31. They would be cute in the summer display. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sue. Welcome Hello, here. Hello, Sue. Welcome. Pair of smoke glass ashtrays. Melissa would like the salt and pepper shakers. Oh, all right. Are these in the house? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, Sue is a close second. Uh -huh. <laughs> so these are kind of a, they have a green tinge to them. They are, like Rebecca mentioned, they're smoked. They're matching. Smoked glass, smoked ashtrays. Yes. Um, any chips in them or anything? Not that I could feel. This one does not. This one has, looks to me like a slight chip. Right where my thumb is. See if I can show that. Why oh, doesn't even want to show up on there? There, a little bit of a chip right there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, this this shape of ashtray are awesome for coasters. Oh, I guess. Yeah, and especially with the flat bottom because they don't scrape your furniture. Um, I will give them a quick measure. So there is a pair of them, $5, number eight. They are three and a half square. Um, the circle in the center is just under three inches. So they would fit a nice tall glass. Never thought of using them for yeah. as a coaster. Reuse, reduce, reuse, recycle. You bet.
And next up is a green glass pitcher. Oh, this is so pretty. Yes. So this is, I don't the know. Thrill of the thrift. That's the Hi, essence. Dee. Hi, Dee. You are right. Well, I didn't know that. I'm not that great at oh. names, but Sue said ID. So, okay. Yeah, so I can't take credit. <laughs> Hi, D. Welcome here. So, yeah, I, I don't know exactly what to say about this. It looks like they were going for a, a flower vase. And then maybe they dented the top and they decided, well, let's just pinch it and make a pouring spout and put on a glass handle. I think it turned out great. It's an applied handle. Um, there's no chips or cracks. So what does applied mean? Um, put on after. Okay. So I they might have gone for the vase look. I, uh, yeah. The, the handle on the bottom is kind of cute, kind of neat and say cute, but it's has different points on it. Oh, good eye. Uh, it is nine inches tall. Oh, Melissa wants it. Sorry, I didn't even say the number. Oh, <laughs> I was holding it there. The Thanks, base Melissa. is four and three quarters. It's really cool. It is. It's going to Melissa's. Thank you. We've always been interested in glass shops and how they mold glass. We've watched that. I think it was a blown, blown away. Blown yeah. away on Netflix or Prime. Netflix, maybe. Thrill the Thrift Diamond Point. Oh, okay. And I like glass. It looks kind of cool. Next up, we have an Avon Wear tray. Oh yeah, um, and not that it's oh. Avon, but it's uh, it is Avon. Netflix, Melissa says. It's Avon Wear and Angela. England. This tray we seen. Oh, it was somewhere in a thrift, not a thrift, but an antique store. Yes. And they were asking some pretty. I think, yeah, I think they were asking thirty dollars for it, but it's just a nice oval tray. Today on Mama's Treasures, you can have this tray <laughs> for five dollars. There is a little chip right there. A little chip. Number forty-six. Leave on England. Yeah, it feels so smooth. Like it's he, very it crazy. Even sounds stuffiness. different. It's weird. It's so cool. I sold one of those at Thrill of the Thrift Set. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they were, we were surprised at the price of it. And this was in the house, right? No? I don't recall. Okay. Things are starting to intertwine. Yes. Pair of... Oh, the little... Pudgy birds. birds. Yeah. Here's some, some fat birds for you. <laughs> are not they're they're chubby they're cute yep they're little little kind of chubby birds and nice colors actually to them they mm -hmm. would look nice on it on a shelf i suppose yeah they're just sitting on they're sitting on a stump they're not heavy the made in japan it has an original price tag on it for the robinson store for a dollar 49 they're made in japan they're really kind of nice looking they are nice my thinking is there probably would have been a third but he flew the coop oh you think it'd be a set of three i i'm thinking i'm thinking it might be just the way they're staggered but uh there might have been a, a third one so this would be the rooster of course or the i'm I think, assuming i name. don't think they're they're not chickens. chickens i think they're birds okay well what do i know they are <laughs> <laughs> kind of Eight different dollars for the pair. Different color. They're they're unique. Number five. With a gray bottom and kind of a greenish. Yeah. And light green. And the eyes are very prominent. Mm -hmm. They're nice. Glass Avon Squirrel. Yes. Now this is Avon. Where is the squirrel? You brought oh, it. Oh, I brought. Sorry. I think it's a candle holder. Um, it's a squirrel eating a nut. Yeah, it has a narrow um, spot on the bottom for one of those tall candles. It's heavy, clear glass. It's marked Avon on the bottom. 
And this one is $5, number 50. Let's see, I think I got it upside down. There you go, I can see it. Sue Golombeski, thank you. Thanks, Sue. And I'm gonna get you in for free shipping too. If you just um, popped in, we do a free shipping for one lucky buyer on each of our sales. So um, you get free shipping. I just invoice you the uh, contents that you bought. Next is this large, large owl on a book. Very wise owl. There is crazing on it. Definitely tell all around, everywhere. It's kind of a pearly color, so it's yeah. always need a squirrel. That's right. <laughs> some like owls, some like squirrels. We like just, I think, about everything here. Yes. Not really a theme, just vintage stuff. Some of everything. Yeah, so um, he's in perfect condition. Even, I don't know how, but even the black on the book is pearlescent. So I don't know if that's the clear glaze afterwards. But it's all like rainbowy. It's so pretty. Um, it's seven dollars, number forty-eight. And it stands probably ten inches tall. Well, let's measure it. Nine inches. Nine inches. Hoot hoot. By five. <laughs> yeah, he is a hoot. And four. I love some squirrel. Reminds me of my mom feeding them all. There you go. So it does have a felt bottom, but um, there's a you can feel that there's like a big hole. So he is hollow. Yeah, he's not. So he's not heavy, heavy, heavy. Not solid. Yeah. Thanks, Melissa. Five sixty nine US for that. Lady pick with frame. That's on oh, your side. Yes. This was hanging in the vintage house. I remember very, I remember it was in the uh, realtor pictures. Yes. In the bathroom, hanging over the sink. Yeah. So I assume, oh, I have no idea on the age, but uh, this uh, lady was 92 that passed away and it was her mom's house. So this could have been up there for some time. She's put, it could be a picture from a calendar. Yeah, like or from the picture frame itself. I don't know. But uh, we haven't opened it to see what's behind here. This is just how we found it. I think it's an 8 by 10 frame. We don't have squirrels. We have ground squirrels, I think I've seen around here, and gophers. But not too far away, they have squirrels running along the, the power lines. and. It's 7 by 9, the photo you can put in here. Seven by nine. Yeah, that's a that's an odd size. We haven't size. opened the back, so who knows? There might be money back. Maybe there. that's where the cash was hidden. Maybe five dollars, number forty-seven. I would be kind of choked if that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell us if you find money behind here. <laughs> Chipmunks. Yeah. Chipmunks, we do not have. We have gophers. Around here, it's gophers. Lots of prairie, call them prairie dogs. Glass trinket dish. Yeah, that, that one? one, yeah. We bought this as two separate pieces. We didn't know. Yeah. That this is what it was. We thought this is how it came. Turns out it's a, it's a trinket dish. It locks in. So it's both sides are identical. Mm-hmm with the ribs on there, like to call them the castle ribbing, maybe? Sure. And they fit together really well. You could use very... those for candle holders or coasters. It's a nice. Or just as a trinket dish. Yep. So this uh, trinket dish is $6 and it's number 34. Or $3 per half. We have fishers. What are fishers, Melissa? I don't know what fishers are. Where's Melissa from? Ontario. Thanks, oh, Melissa. You want that one? All right. Ontario. Okay, so that's Canada. What are fishers, Melissa? 
she'll say, well, they're fishers. <laughs> Don't you know? I'm a fisher. I like to catch fish. What's this one? Oh, the Victorian, Victorian man, man and, and me. Look at his nice ponytail. He's so fancy. And that's that's one thing I can still do is I can grow a ponytail. The <laughs> hair grows in the back, but my kids won't. And my wife, they won't let me. No. No. Like if I wore a hat, you wouldn't know the difference. I would still see your ponytail. Oh, well, that's wouldn't that be cool? You just did look at his. You were impressed. That was sarcasm. Okay. He. They have really nice ribbing here. I don't know. They're just in really great shape. I don't know how old they are or who made them. Like a weasel family, but size of cat. I'll have to look that up. This is, um, it's $7 and I will just measure them. Uh, five and a half inches tall and four and a half wide. Makes me want to grow a ponytail. No. Will you wear lace then too? You want Lacy me? ruffles. You want me to? No. <laughs> Seven dollars, number thirty-two. I'm in rural Ottawa, so bears, deer, and coyotes, wolves. We have they're moving further south. Um, they used the deer even used to be further north, but they're all over now. Bears, not this far south. We haven't had bears here, but not an hour north. We have bears. Coyotes, yes, lots of coyotes. Wolves, again, they're further north. We even have uh, jaguars. Jaguars, uh, we have mm -hmm. um, uh, big cat. Jaguar? Not jaguar. Panther? Jaguar, I don't know if we have here. What am I thinking of then? You're not thinking jaguar. Um, why can't I think of, think of the name? Anyway, great big cat there along the river hills. I'll Glass think butter dish. Here? Yes. Bobcat? Yeah, there's Bobcat. Lynx? lynx. Yes, there's yeah. Lynx, but there's another cat. Yeah, it's bigger than a Lynx. I just can't think of the name. A very nice butter dish. Actually, this does this not match the um, the piece that Melissa bought? It might. There oh, was a looks... lot of the this kind of pieces in cougar. Thanks, Melissa. Yes, the cougar. cougar. Yes. Like jaguar, I think is not even here. No. No. Okay. Yeah, it's cougars that we have. I think that'd be like. Um, I would love to else. see one, but panthers. When I'm in my car. Yeah, definitely a cougar. Um, this glass butter dish. I can't remember if it's got any it issues. Looks to be nice. I think it's okay. Yes, it's good. Number 33, $5. It's got a pretty pattern. Etched glass walls. Please. That's this. So this is just a clear etched glass vase. You can see the etching there. And it's got a, a very delicate little ruffle on the, the rim. The pedestal base has been like twisted. And there is a little bubble in there. Just a little bud vase. Five dollars and it's number 18. It is how tall? It's eight inches tall. Right in there. Aluminum pot. This was in the house. And it's old. It, it is so old. A wooden handle on there with a flathead screw. 
It is so old. Very banged up. And this pot could tell some stories. Yep, it could. There's no holes in it. None of these um, what they call the pot menders. Pot menders. No, no pot menders. This little pot. Oh, let's measure it. Sure. Um, the uh, lid isn't even centered for the. <laughs> It's about four and a quarter inches in diameter. With a pile of character on that one. Yep, this little guy is $5 and it's number 44. Yeah, it doesn't miss <laughs> loose. It's pretty snug. Oh, Melissa wants the pot. Melissa? Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Next is a crystal clock, and it works as well. Put a battery in there before before the sale today, and it's called Shannon Crystal. Um, designs of Ireland, handcrafted lead crystal, China. It has some weight to it. Yeah. Use it for a campfire. It's perfect. Oh, yeah. Uh, the crystal clock is $10 and it's number 23. So crystal's heavy. Mm -hmm. Almost does feel heavier than glass. And you can pop this, you pop this piece out and then you can uh, Shannon change the battery. Shannon Irish. Shannon Irish. Yes. Designs of Ireland, yes. Yep. Sue would like that one. Sue, all right. Yeah, Shannon, there is I, there's a um, uh, shamrock symbol on there. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sue. Hey, Melissa, have something for you. For your campfire. For your campfire, orange. <laughs> Enamel, um, black rim, white. Really cool piece. Inside, hanging on the wall of your man cave or lady cave. Halloween display. Halloween display. This little guy is four dollars. It is just over three inches Shannon tall. Shannon is very Irish. Oh, says. and a three-inch diameter. So the little aluminum cup, or no, enamel. Enamel, yep. It's lost some of the shine on some places to it and really scrubbed clean, mm. I guess. It's awesome. Yep. Sue, I would like the clock. Ours are just in the backyard, Melissa says. <laughs> Uh, Sue, yes, we got your number 23. Yeah, I got you. Yep. Thank you. You, you get the clock. What we have next? Etched glass, Etched glass pitcher. pitcher. What's this? So this little pitcher with also uh, an applied handle. Is that the same style as that vase? Mm, no. I was looking at that too. No, it's but it's different. This looks more like a laurel leaf. I don't know. It's it's etched there. I'm not sure if you can really tell. Oh, you can see it. There you go. So it's just a little pitcher, clear glass. It's for your two cups of sangria that you'll have after the. Uh, oh, there you go. After the show. Four and a half. After the show, after the sale. <laughs> Four and a half. Um, inches tall and it's in perfect condition this is four dollars and it's number 17. Mm, sangria sounds good <laughs> <laughs> i have to go they're getting, moving one hospital bed angela oh. that's interesting we are similar item or thing today yeah all the best angela with that um Rebecca's mom too is today being moved from a hospital to a to a bit. But it didn't work out. Didn't um, work out today? No, she Michigan is under a fire ban because of a 
Oh, wow. Yeah, it's dry here too. We are really dry. We could use some rain. Yeah, definitely. All the best, Melissa. Angela. You mean Angela? Oh, yes, Melissa. Uh, Angela, sorry. So I don't know. Um, in the house. The fire, the fire department department here is trying here. to lift her. Oh. Well, all the best there. Uh, white double sheet pillow and pillowcase. Yes. So I don't see a. This one actually says double on it. Um, it has the tag. So it says double bed extra wide. And it says 90 inches on it. Um, it's text made. It's just a white cotton sheet, double extra wide. And I'm throwing in um, a handmade pillowcase that was also from the vintage house. And it goes really nicely. It's white and yellow stripe. Sewn by, I'm sure she sewed this. It's pretty Melissa awesome. Melissa said they had snow. Oh my. So for the, for the flat sheet and the pillowcase i'm asking five dollars and it's number 30. Oh, melissa Lim. melissa wants those okay thank you okay In and out. Yeah, that is very, uh, all the best with that. It's been uh, like Rebecca's mom as well. Yeah, I, I haven't talked about it here, but no. Yeah. All the best, Angela. Mexican pottery. Shade. That's shade. That. That's this one. So this, I don't know if you consider it a fairy lamp or not, because it does have all the holes in there. It would shine yeah. that off on the onto the wall. Yeah. And you could set it over a tea lamp or a tea light or a candle. Was it called tea light? Yeah, sure. I think it would look really cool with um, just a terracotta plant base. This on top of it, and you could put your tea light in there. And but like it's um, all of these images are carved out of the pottery shade. Um, there's no markings of who made it or where it came from, but there's an iguana on the shade. Uh, some, I think that might be a coconut. And then there's a toucan flowers. It's really cool. It looked like, it looks like they were cut out or punched out maybe with, um, polymer clay pieces because these even these are holes it it would look so cool lit up that's what the bottom looks like eight dollars number 49 for that one i'll give it a quick measure here so you could light we could light it up six inches tall and five inches in diameter uh, melissa 49 Melissa, thank you. Thrill and thrift, thrift said 59, and we'll change to 49. Close second. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, 60, 651 US dollars. Tomato, salt, and pepper shakers coming right up here. These are old as well. So you can actually hold onto the handle. <laughs> they have little corks in them. And I think it says made in Japan. Yeah, I think it's Japan. There. And they have a little carrying handle. This one had a cork, and you can see it's in there. Oh. I can I can hear it. They um Jason thought that they were pumpkins. I thought they were pumpkins. 
And they might be more orange than red, but yeah, they can be pumpkins or tomatoes, whatever you like. So if somebody comes over, you can say, hey, look at my pumpkin shakers at, at, uh, at, at Thanksgiving or in fall. And then in come spring, you can say, hey, check out my tomato shakers. You betcha. Yeah. Leave them out year round. Throw the thrift fat fingers. Sorry. <laughs> and they are $8, number 41. Gabriel's offering some. Advice, if need be, for Angela. She's a physical therapist. Folks from all walks of life. Sue would like those. Sue, thank you. Thanks, Sue. Okay, I'll the number up again. Oops, Did you? Grab another one. <laughs> Here is a small happy anniversary. What are these? Creamer, sugar, and cream? Yeah, a little mini creamer and sugar. They're really tiny. They just say happy anniversary, so it can be whatever anniversary you like. That's right, Sue, dual season. They're, they really... <laughs> and this is dual anniversaries. Dual anniversary. Yeah, it can be for a wedding anniversary. It can be for... Um, a a annual. A YouTube channel anniversary. You can... There's lots of anniversaries you could celebrate. Mm -hmm. Six dollars, number 39. And they are made in Japan. I should yeah. mention that. Yeah, they're in good condition. Good shape. Actually has a little uh, Vancouver sticker on the bottom. FIC Vancouver. I'm not sure what that stands for. Hmm. Okay. Good news. I got to play phone tag for my shot starting May 10th. Oh, there you go. Is that your first one, Melissa? Set this aside here. Next is two quilted wall hang okay. hangs. Yes. Um, these, I don't know how old they are. Cool. They are like puffy. Is that stitched. plastic? Yes. The, pl the frames are plastic. 60s or 70s. Probably. Like even stitching around the eggs to make them puffy. I love it. So cool. And then there's this one with the scale. Rebecca said, I said, how do you know if something is cool? She said, if I like it, everybody else will too. So <laughs> right. And it says tomorrow I can play phone tag for my hubby. He's on the waiting list. Yeah, hopefully you can get, yeah, first shots. Well, hopefully it works out for you. I think these are five by seven. Number 16, eight dollars for those both. Yeah. The puffy um, wall hangs. There's, they're about six by eight with the frame. So yeah, the two of them. And they're not. Um, so they're folded over inside. Kind of they tight. are, like you can pop them out. So if you don't want them in the frame, you can tell that they're. They're homemade, and uh, yeah, they're just cut. They're taped on with some black cardstock. That'd be a lot of work. Yes, it would have been a lot of work. Eight dollars for the set, number sixteen. Sixteen, yep. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have a potato potato masher. masher. Now, this has got a little bit of. This been guy's used old. A lot. This guy's old. It has yeah. a little bit of chippy paint left, but all the paints, most of it's been worn worn off of there. Yeah. We it's had, one of those little stubby ones. Yes. We had other painted handle kitchenware, but a lady came by to purchase the um, some vintage clothing, and she seen these, so she bought them. Won't tag us. Hey, Trisha. Game. Yes. Thanks for popping in. So for the little antique potato mashers, five dollars, number twenty-two. I don't think we realized we had this one. She bought all the other ones. She may not even have seen the little chip because no. yeah, she wanted all the painted handle stuff. Um, 
Next up is a chalkware owl set. Yeah, these were hanging in the kitchen of the estate home. And little hangers on the back. There's a little bit of chipping around the eye on that one. Yeah, a little bit of paint loss. They're in pretty good condition though, considering how old these, these guys are. $10 for the pair. They look to be about six inches tall. This overstuffed house. Hello, hey, everyone. Nancy. Nancy? Yeah, they're seven inches tall. Seven inches tall. Always off by an inch. <laughs> so when you catch the fish, it was this big. Thrill of the thrift. Oh, the thank you, Dee. Number 24. So we're narrowing down to our last three items here. Let us know if you'd like us to run through some more of the items we have. We have a good good chunk that didn't sell. If anyone yep. has interest, we can run through those again. If not, that's fine as well. Um, I've got you in for the free shipping draw, D. Thank you. Yellow floral sheet. This is the last sheet that we have. This one is 64 by 86. And cotton is, I assume, as well. Yeah, it's flannel. It's flannel. Oh, it's so soft. So 64 inches by 86 inches. Yeah, so is what five, is that? Double? Is that a double? Uh, I think that's 64 double. 64 would be five feet by, well, five, yeah, so it would be five feet. It would be your twin, right? Could it hang over the edge of it? Okay. Probably a twin? Mm, not sure. $5, number 29. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That is the last of the... Of the Linen and a Paris tray. Oh, yeah. This is another plastic or malamine tray, souvenir tray. Like the one we had at the beginning. Trinket dish. Yeah. Except this one's got the Eiffel Tower on it. Um, I feel so much better today, Sandy. Oh, good. I'm glad. What is that from? Uh, her her shot she got she got quite sick with her shot or was it the first shot as well i i have a bit of a sore arm but boy i just i thought i might get sick someone's staff at work were ill for a little bit but so uh there's no marking on here but it might be malamine i'm not sure three dollars number 38 for the eiffel tower tray hey sup doug hey doug how are you doing this afternoon? Enjoying the nice weather? Very, Windy again? Very sick from her first vaccine shot. First vaccine shot. shot. Hmm. And what kind was it? Which which vaccine shot? Melissa wants to see the stuff from the beginning. Sure. We have one more item. Okay. And that must be this. Yep. Dominoes. Yeah. $4 for the dominoes with 26, I think you said, in there. Yeah. I think they're all in there. The Domino's. Moderna. My parents had uh, AstraZeneca and I had Visor. And uh, my dad was a little lightheaded. Mom was fine. I was fine as well. Just got home from errands. Busy day today, Doug. Got a lot done. This is what the Domino's look like. I'll just show them to you. Number 14, and only $4 for those. Yeah. So you can have fun as you are self-isolating, <laughs> knocking down the dominoes. I got sick too, but mine was Pfizer. Everyone, it affects everybody differently. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm thankful I didn't get sick, or I wouldn't be sitting here today helping out to you. All okay. right. Yeah, we can definitely go through some more so, stuff here. Yeah, um, the stuff I guess we'd be pulling from your side. Then. Sure, I'll pass it over to you. And um, uh, Lynn, this and that. I got my first shot Thursday. I was extremely tired yesterday. You know, I I I was tired. He did as well, mention but, that yeah. he was tired yesterday. Yeah. I don't know how to play dominoes. You don't have to know how to play dominoes. That is very. I don't either, actually. <laughs> but you can set them up and. You set them up on edge, and you can make some pretty cool stuff you see on YouTube. You stand them all up, and you knock them over, 
some people can make some pretty cool, they're long, long dominoes that fall over. He's trying to sell you dominoes. I'm trying too. to sell you dominoes. They're <laughs> only $4. My doctor told me to wait and try to get the visor since I had been in the hospital for my heart in April. I needed to heal up a little more before I would take it. Okay. All the best. Um, I did pull my doctor as well. I, I have migraine headaches. So just hearing the story of the AstraZeneca um, clotting, I was just concerned because migraines, my migraines, so they're blood related because of flow. Mm -hmm. But he said, nope, that had nothing to do with that. He said it is to do with uh, other underlying things that your body has in it. So not, but he said the risk is coming from my doctor, but he said, if you end up sick in the hospital, you have a one in five chance having a blood clot with COVID. Um, so your chances are better with the vaccination. Moderna for her as well. Got Moderna. Okay. All right. I'll grab some stuff here. Things that didn't sell. This is a cool old ashtray. Now, it could be ornamental or I guess get creative. Mm -hmm. But it is number 15, $10. Old advertising. Pottery. This is felt around the bottom here. No idea on the age, but uh, no. it's it's up there. In, yeah, it looks so old. My husband and I received visor. Cherry whiskey bottle. This is pretty cool cherry whiskey bottle. Um Again, I don't know. It's made in Ontario. It says 12 ounces, so we're assuming it's somewhere in the 60s, 70s, this bottle. Item number 52, $5. It's empty. It's empty. There's nothing in there. <laughs> that was in the vintage house. Yes. Have a milk glass vase. And I think Rebecca called it transparent for some reason. Well, it's translucent. Translucent. You can see through it. Not transparent. You can see light through it. Number three, five dollars. This one, I'm surprised it didn't go. Oh yeah, the little owl napkin holder. Maybe because I didn't measure it before. Maybe. It is four inches. Number nine, eight dollars. And three inches wide. Trusty Huxter. Oh, Patrick. I heard that Johnson and Johnson, someone's brought to Canada now and they are holding back. There's maybe a quality issue. Johnson and Johnson, I believe, is the one that you're supposed to have a one shot, not two. Okay. And with the visor, they said, I need to get that in four. Within four months. Within four months. And we'll take it yours this week. This is the small. Um, Little Irish beer stein. Irish beer stein. Item number 11, $4. It Thanks, is, Melissa, for popping up those uh, American prices or the pricing in American. It's written in Irish, made in Japan on the bottom. It's cool little vintage um, bottle opener or a corkscrew. Nice and portable, could take it with you wherever you go. And it says Vaughn. It's spelled V-A-U-G-H-A-N. It's Vaughn, apparently. Chicago made, made and patented in the USA. And it says um, Nifty on there. I told you three weeks that you could get the second shot already? Wow. That's pretty quick turner. Oh, number 11. Melissa was for 11. Which was oh, that was the beer stein. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Melissa. J and J is the one shot. Three weeks. That's quick. Turn around time. You could even put this on your keychain, actually. I see there's a hole in there. So I don't want to encourage any no. drinking and driving. Just it's portable and useful and it can be at the cabin. If you have a cabin, I don't sure. I want a cabin, but I don't have one. 28 days in between shots. So we they told us just to wait. I guess maybe there's different rules or whatever with every with every type or brand. Mm -hmm. These little um, 
The little pottery mugs are five dollars for the pair. They're number forty-two. And they were suggested to be. Somebody mentioned they do look like otagiri, but I don't. There's no markings on the bottom. They do have that, like th have this Lynn kind of. Like Lynn's this and that. Oh, Lynn wants those. All right. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you. I think this was the very first item. This is a small um, ceramic plate. Lynn, I'm going to get you in for free shipping too. The longest you're supposed to go between Moderna is 42 days. Otherwise, you have to start over. Oh, yeah, you don't want to start Oh, my over. goodness. Oh. Where the Canada is short on shots, that's why you have a longer wait in between. Yeah, that could be. We don't have enough shots. So our, our, yeah, that's why the four months. That's why they recommend to have it within that four months. So I'm not sure. I recognize that symbol. It looks like a different language. Yeah. That's probably 50s, 60s, maybe. I, I don't know. Somewhere Can in there. Hand-painted. I don't know. It almost looks it's Italian, a nice little, doesn't it? Could be. Or, like Portugal? Could be a trinket dish. $3, number 36. Um, chair of chalkware. Oh, yes, the pair of chair of chalkware. Black These, bases with a uh, gold. In a 70s house, or you, 60s or 70s. Oh, yes. With a paneling on the wall, the yellow shag. With the, the gold cherubs, they measure nine inches. Can you show the mark on the 36 closer? Eight and a half inches. Yeah, I sure can. By almost five inches wide. So this is for the pair, $8, number 45. The marker number. Here, I'll put this on here. The thrill of the thrift. <laughs> oh, you're getting the chalkware. Is that coming up? Maybe you recognize the writing. Is it upside down? I don't know. This is what the painting looks like. Trusty Huckster says he'll take 36. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Patrick. Melissa says closer. Closer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to get uh, D in for these here before I. D, one of those? Yeah. The chalkware. Where did you see that? Oh, didn't you say D1 at 45? No. Uh, D's cringing. I think she's thinking of the 70s. <laughs> she, oh, I don't think she wants them. I almost, I almost built you for those cherubs, D. Um, sangria vase or pitcher. Or <laughs> you could put two glasses You're going to have to go get me some sangria now. You keep mentioning it. Number 17, $4. Yes, LOL, the 70s. <laughs> She's thinking of the paneling and the, and the chairs oh, on the wall and the yellow shade. Okay. I just thought she wanted, she got the owl <laughs> chalkware. I thought maybe she wanted the chair of chalkware. You don't have a choice. We will sell stuff to you. <laughs> Rebecca really liked this little puppy. Yeah, he's cute. And that is $4, number 43, small ceramic. Um, we figured maybe Cocker Spaniel looking behind himself. Oh, and Patrick, I'm going to get you in for free shipping as well. Lynn's this and that with like 43. Oh, good. Yeah, we definitely want to, don't want to miss anybody in the free shipping. You're going to a good home. You're going to go live with Lynn. Really heavy white glass penguin. Eight dollars, number ten, a cocker spaniel. That one, the puppy. So yes, this. yeah, this one's going to Lynn. Yeah. Um, no markings. There is a triangular yeah. sticky tag left on this one, but it's quite heavy. Like Rebecca I, mentioned, I didn't look it up. I just I saw it and I scooped it up. Number 10, $8. 
here's the three little pigs. <laughs> so these are, I believe they're resin, a little piggy family. There's the mom or the bigger pig. And there's the two little babies, $5, number 53. The one looks like it has a lipstick on it or a lot of it. Lynn's this and that with like 53. Oh, okay. Thanks, Lynn. Next is a resin dog figurine. That was only $3 and it's number 40. Don't forget to give them a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, there is a tag on there, but I can't quite make it out. If there is anything left to make out there. Yeah, I don't know if that was just a price tag or what that might have been. He's, he's pretty heavy. Uh, Lynn would guy. like that one as well. Oh, you're getting all the little critters. Yay. Well, here come the chubby chick or the not chickens. These are pretty cool looking. The colors are unique. I haven't seen that style and I, I don't know what they're called, but they are made in Japan and they do have an item number on there. Sorry, it's upside down. This one is covered by a sticker. The original store the sticker. The original store sticker on there. Robinson's. Robinson's store. I don't know if I've ever set foot in one. What was that one? Oh, that was, um, remember the Robinson store. Um, that would have been in that small town? It would have been in uh, Watson. Yeah. That is item number five. $8 for those two. Yep. The thrill of the thrift would like those. Okay. Thank you. And Sue is a close second. Number five. Next is this really, we, we think this one is quite old uh, deer. And like Rebecca mentioned, it has the legs tucked in. She kind of like that. And there is some writing on there, but we can't make it what it is. Yeah, I don't know if that would have been a, a signature or if it's actually just a flaw. It almost, yeah, it's hard to tell what that is, I guess. We thought it, um, that might be broken, but it's not broken. It's crazed. And that is a flake of uh, some paint that is chipped off of the finish. Yeah. And then someone's put stickies on their cork stickies on the bottom. About $10, number 12 for the deer, the doe, a deer, a female deer. Doe. <laughs> uh, you can show this guy, ponytail. The thrill of the trip for like 12. Okay. Um, this is, Rebecca was admiring the ponytail on this gentleman. And I offered that I can <laughs> gladly grow one and she says no. I'm not sure what this would be called. It is kind of a pearlescent, I think you mentioned. I don't know how old this would be. Um, maybe not that old. I have no idea. But the the lace is re in really good condition. I'm surprised. Usually it's all Ray, chipped off. Full of sun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish the song in the chat. Um, I don't think her fingers are even busted her thumb looks a little short but it just might be like mine thumbs up <laughs> that was seven dollars number 32 thumbs up if you want me to grow a ponytail <laughs> oh no let's not go there <laughs> next me, a name I call myself. She started finishing the song. <laughs> um, hey, Vintage Vinny, welcome here. Pair of Helen, welcome. Hey, Helen. A pair of smoked um, green, green smoked glass ashtrays. The one has a slight chip they, on it. Are they green or they look gray? greenish to me? Okay, because I wrote smoke glass uh, but you're right they might run. be green long time we'll see speaking of thumbs up hey I just margaret pretty grit who's pretty grit 
First name? Margaret. Margaret? Okay. And how much are those? Five dollars? Five dollars, number eight. Number eight. We're just going through this, um, the items that didn't sell. Right. So, uh, this, this box is just cool. This is a slicer and it looks like they've got a potato that they're slicing and it has some instructions. Fempster's famous vegetable slicer. And there's a recipe on there. Hot, hot slaw, a medium sized head of cabbage. Oh. So this is a really, it has a patent number on there, but age wise, no idea. But you can adjust this table where you want it for the thickness of the slice. So you could do tomatoes, you could do cucumbers, you could do potatoes, onion, and you just adjust the thickness. This is $5 and it's number 26. Pretty cool. Next is a, met, a metal uh, flower, flower sifter. sifter. The wooden handle on the top and a metal handle on the side. And it says it's a triple sifter, three screens, and brand is and rock. And it works. Mm -hmm. so there's three screens in there, and the these blades just go through. Your birthday, Vinny. A little something is being mailed out on Monday for you. Oh, is it your birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's the original finger gu guillotine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The slicer doesn't look dangerous at all, LOL. Yes, <laughs> I know. Just Decoration sure. only. Yikes. I'd try it. You could put those um, filleting gloves on. Get those, those steel mesh filleting gloves. Okay. You could grab your onions and potatoes and just go okay. to town. You wouldn't have to worry about getting sliced. I would not try it because I Yesterday know. Yesterday was Vinny's birthday. Oh, happy, happy belated. I would not try it because I would be the one who would. <laughs> no. $5, number 29, yellow floral twin sheets. We think twin, right? I think so. Either that or double. Because it's five, 64 inch by 86 inch. Yeah. And they're cotton? Yes, cotton flannel, super, super soft. And this was from the vintage house? Yes. One more flannel sheet set, number 28. Twin. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a fitted and a flat sheet. But just the fabric alone would be awesome to make like pillowcases or something. It's that soft, soft flannel material. Seven dollars, number twenty-eight. Number eighteen, five dollars for this vase that is has an etching on there, frosted etching, or what? Yeah, it's that? etched. And that's been. You can tell that they made these two pieces separately and put that piece onto there. Mm -hmm. There's water in here from cleaning it. Oh. <laughs> I guess so. Just knows there's a little bit of water. <laughs> it's been washed. That was number 18. Number 54, $5. This little uh, duck uh, planter. And that is also made in Japan. Thanks, Melissa, for mentioning all these prices again. Yeah, that's enough. really helpful. That. Number 54. Oh, trusty huckster. all right. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have a little glass trinket dish. It's a nice shape, I think. Oh, there is one little chip. Yeah, I did notice one quite There's one sharp spot. Chip in the corner. Do you want to sell for five bucks still? Because of the chip, you didn't know. Let's go four. Four dollars. There is a little bit. It's there's a little bit of a chip here. Okay. Four dollars, number fifty-five for the. I don't know what you call it. KC, I stopped in to say hi and give a thumbs up. Thanks, Thank KC. you. 
Carrie. Carrie. Yeah. Four dollars on there, just jewelry yeah. casket or whatever you call these. Next is this large owl. Uh, I think we determined it was about seven inches. Yeah, something like that. And it's number 48, $7, and it's pearlescent even on the black paint on the book. Um, it's crazed. It's a black felt bottom. It's hollow. And it's $7, number 48. Oops, I'm holding my hand right over the face. <laughs> For the wise old owl on a book. Next is a small sugar and creamer set. Let's say happy anniversary. Yeah. Just a little set. Six dollars, number 39. For trusty. Number 48 was the owl. Oh, the wise old owl is going to Patrick. All right. Where's Patrick from? I think this was number 39. I think he's near Angela. Okay. I think they're in the same state. Next up was this uh, enamel mug, a white in. White inside, black rim, uh, shiny still around the handle. With some very worn spots on the paint there, though, and kind of dull around the edges. Very cool piece of enamel. It is nice, cool. nice color to it. Number twenty-one, four dollars. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next is this cool little brown oh, yeah. jug set. Redware. Um, and that is. The one side Number says four. little brown jug, and the other side says Oof, wildcat juice aged in the woods. It would be great for a Halloween display. Yeah, it would yeah. be orange. So there is a cork on the inside of the jug, but this is all ceramic. And then there's these four or six, six. little shot mugs. Show the bottom of that jug. The sticker on there. Oh yeah. I'm scared I'm gonna interrupt these little guys. Yeah. They're so cute. Eloise would love to play with those. Okay. The thrill of the thrift for four. Is that the one? Oh, awesome! Thank you, D. Thanks, D. Next is a potato. Masher, very old chippy paint on there, wooden handle, five dollars, number twenty-two. Has quite a bit of wear on it, or wear, but not sure if you still use it or just put it up for a display. Yeah, I Thrill don't think the... you'd want to. I don't think you'd want to mash the potatoes with that. Thrill of the thrift says. Oh, she wants oh. a potato masher. No, nope, that's four. Sorry. Oh. You're welcome. She says with a wink. Mm, thank you. A butter dish. This one is number 33 and it's $5. It's in very nice shape. Here was this, this is a, just a photo from and frame. There's a bit of a piece out of this frame right there. Yeah. But this was in the old house. Is that orange mugs? Yes, it is. That orange mug's still available. Yep, it's number 21, four dollars. Get that away. Star of David pattern. That's what that butter <gasps> oh. dish is. Okay. Okay, well, we've got a whole bunch of that then. Yeah, we have a lot of that star. Because we bought uh this past week we bought a lot of clear glass. <laughs> a lot of clear glass. Yeah. And yeah, that pattern was in there a lot. Vintage Vinny wants 21. This is number 47, it's $5. This was hanging in the vintage house in the bathroom over the sink, I guess. And it might be from a calendar or something. I'm not sure, or if it was it part of that frame, but it's cardboard in the back. We have not taken that piece off. There's a bit of a clothespin holding this together. <laughs> but she was very inventive. Vintage Vinny would like that too. Oh, okay. 
I'm going to get you in for uh, free shipping as well, Vinny. Um, on our sales, one uh, one purchaser in each of our sales gets free shipping. Um, and this is called Avon Wear, made in England. And it is number 46, $5. It's very crazed, uh, interesting pattern. We've seen one like this for sale in a vintage um, store, and it was substantially more than the $5. But this one, Rebecca said, had a... I did feel it a small chip somewhere. Right there. Right there. It's a very, very small. I just love it. feeling this. It's so smooth. Hmm. Uh, Melissa would like that one. Did you ever oh. find Murano? What's Murano? I, it's a glass. Hmm. Um, I have only ever come across one piece of Murano glass and I think it was a hand-blown flower um, and I think it was actually in the estate home that oh, green really? flower okay yep I remember that one yeah yeah I would love to find Fenton and Murano out in the wild yeah, there is a house for sale over here we really want. It is four hours away, and it comes with everything. It might have been a bed and breakfast, but it still comes with the original items of the house. It's huge. It's a seven-bedroom house. Yeah, it's actually listed as a manor. It's listed as a manor, and we want so it. So cool. We really want it. It's just out of our price range. Um, This is a flat sheet and fitted Yes, it was. Melissa set. says she got it. That Murano. Oh, Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That was uh, several months ago. I think it was in the winter when we sold that. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is number 27, $7 for the... Fitted and flat sheet. Yes. And it'd probably be that same 54 inches. I'm assuming it's twin, but I don't know because she had twin bids and they're like the, the bids with yeah. the steel frames. Um, I think it's Wabasso brand. Yes, it's Wabasso. Size. Size, yeah. You know what? We should measure it because I wouldn't want to sell it and say it's twin and then it's double or something. All right. I we should. Measure. You want to put this? He's going to go measure it. There's a few items here. I'll, I'll, I'll keep going, but then uh, he's going to measure that. Okay, so I've got these quilted... These quilted pieces, I think I measured them to be seven by nine. Um, they were, they look to be part of a craft kit, but they're like that puffy, they're, you know, they got the pillow behind them and um, they come in plastic frames. This is the backing of them. It's really nice little kitchen. Kitchen set, $8, number 16 for those. And the sheet is 80 wide. The sheet is 80 wide. Um, I've got the mantle clock. This is, it wide looks to be nine. like maybe a clear varnish. 80 wide by 92. 80. Sheet, not fitted sheet. Touch me. 80 by 92 is what that flat sheet measures. So I don't know. If that's, that one looks like it hasn't been used. Maybe. So I don't know if that's a, that might even be a queen. Well, that's just flat. If it has to go over the edge. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but this is what the back of the mantle clock looks like. It looks like a, like it was handmade. Um, $10 was number 20. This is, this is a twin. I don't know, hon. That. Try and put it on Eli's bed. That looks wider than a twin to me. <laughs> Sorry, but I think it does. <laughs> okay, and there is this plastic Eiffel Tower tray for $3, number 38. 
Um, plastic or malamine, I really don't know. Um, it's just the Eiffel Tower. And then lastly, I've got the dominoes, which are $4, number 14. It's a box of dominoes. They're black. It's pretty good. It must be for a double. And that's what they look like. Yeah, so it's got to be for a double. It didn't fit on our son's twin bed. So look at dominoes. Oh, just so they know where they put a bit on that one. Yeah, that's right. It does look, um, the fit is definitely warm. But yes, the other sheet is the, I don't think the the flat sheet has even really been used. No. Uh, what number was that? I don't have a number. Hmm. Did you finish these other ones? Yes, I did. Okay. Sounds like a queen size. Sounds like queen. Okay. So those were number twenty seven. Seven dollars for that blue sheet set. Seven dollars, number twenty-seven. I think it's the wrong one, darn it. Okay. Well, good thing that we measured it. All right. That's it. That's it. That's all. Yep. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. We went through all those items and twice the ones that were remaining in uh two hours so oh, yeah that's not bad went through pretty quick actually tonight okay um i think pamela blanchard is up next i'll head over there thank you all so much for watching and all the best they heard like angela with her mom and uh, yeah and everyone else trying to plan their their uh shots or vaccination shots Hopefully. we have to oh. draw thank you <laughs> Yes. I'll get a container. <laughs> okay. All right. So in the draw goes Vinny. Here comes Mama's honking mug. Yeah, I got this from Gina. Patrick. My live sale after panels. Santiago's live sale after panels. Lynn. Yes. And then go over to Trisha. Sandy and Otto. You guys can always put your links into the chat. I, I don't mind. That was D. Promote yourself. Yeah. Sue. Sue Golombeski today. And there is Melissa. And Hazel. Yeah, Patrick. I think I, I've got him in there. Yeah. Gina and Kat. Truckster Huckster. We got a deep dive Sunday night with Cindy from Magic. Oh, fun. Longer burger baskets. I have yet to find one of those as well. Live sale tonight with Sam. Yes. Did I miss anybody? Gotta make sure everybody's in there. You ready? Yeah, I right. think so. That's true. That is a big coffee mug, hey? <laughs> it's it's <laughs> the pot, yeah. Mama's coffee. Let's be clear here. All right, free shipping goes to Cat Calypso Antiques. Congrats, Cat. All righty. So there we go. <laughs> Almost forgot. That. Yes. Thanks for keeping us on track. Yep. Um, thank you all for watching. And uh, we will be back with you here next Saturday for another uh, live sale. And uh, we'll talk to you then. Next, um, there's a surprise coming up next week. There's a surprise coming. There's a surprise coming up next week. Tune in. Have a great night. I'm going to have to tune in too. I don't know what he's talking about.